गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स यस्टरडे वी हैव डिस्कस्ड मिड टर्म एंड मैक्स टर्म डेफिनेशन मिड टर्म मीन्स प्रोडक्ट टर्म प्रोडक्ट टर्म मैक्स टर्म मीन्स सम टर्म सो दिस वी हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड यस्टरडे दट इज यू हैव मिड टर्म इज नथिंग बट अ टर्म इज प्रोडक्ट टर्म मैक्स टर्म मीन्स अ टर्म इज mean uh, some term we'll write the two two variables and two variables truth table for mean term and max term first x y we'll write the mean term and its notation max term and its notation okay so when we have a two variables so many combinations we will get whatever we have written in the truth tables that is the one we will get four combinations four combinations mean term is nothing but x is nothing but 1 x complement is nothing but 0 in the mean term and x plus x complement is 1 with respect to our output mean term is nothing but sum of product max term is nothing but product of sum x is nothing but 0 x complement is nothing but 1 output is x into x complement is equal to 0 this we have discussed in the yesterday's class so we'll write the mean term term is nothing but x y that means it is a combination of a variable product combination of your variables product variable may or may not be complement may or may not be complement here we have x and y x and both are zero then x is complementation x complement y complement each term is which term product term here x is complement zero y uncomplemented x is uncomplemented y is complement here both are uncomplement you got it it is represented with cap lower case letter m not m1 m2 m3 okay shall we move for the max term max term x is not zero is nothing but x one is nothing but x complement how we can write it is in the form of zero then x complement x complement <coughs> zero we can write this one as x complement sorry so here it is x not the x complement here it is x each term is some term plus y then here it is x plus y is 1 1 means y complement then here x complement plus y here x complement plus y complement each term is which term sum term how we can represent this one capital letter m not so m1 capital letter m2 m3 how we can use this one where we are using this one that means while converting the given expressions into a canonical form into a canonical form either with the min term or with the max term we are using this representation suppose if they have given the question f is x comma y because two variables it is given x complement y plus y x y they have given one expression what is this mean term 
Please check this. This is your midterm. M1. What is this mean term? M3. How we can write this one? Represented with a sigma. Lower case mi. 1 comma 3. F of x comma y equal to. Similarly. Suppose if the given function in the canonical form of POS. Write the POS form. How will write? They will give one expression. X comma y. X plus y into x complement plus y complement. How we can write this one? What is the x complement plus x plus y complement? M naught dot M3. It is represented with a pi capital letter M i 0 comma 3. This is f of x comma y. This I have taken one example. Okay, that means how we can write this one? It's M1. Do you remember your finger computer? X naught. X means 1. X complement is nothing but 0. Here, X is 0. X complement is nothing but 1. What is X complement means? 0. X means, that means a variable without a complement means 1. What is represented as? You have cut into your finger computer. 0, 0, 1 means 1, M1. Here, 1 plus 1, 3, M3. Similarly, here both are 0, 0, hence it is M0. Here both are 1, hence it is M3. Did you got it? Suppose if they have given in this form, write the expression. Write the expression. They have been given. They will give only sigma. May or may not be mi. 1, 2, 3. Write the canonical form of min term. If the question is given, write the canonical form of min term. How I can write 0? 0 means 0, 1. 1 means 0, 1. 2 means 1, 0. 3 means 1, 1. That means this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. According to that, what is it? 0 means x is complemented. Y means uncomplemented. Here x is uncomplement, y is complement. Then here x and y both are uncomplement. Each term is Product term, it is logically added. Logically and uh, uh, that is added. Logically added. That is SOP. Sum of products. Sum of products. Did you got how to write this? If they have given like this, it's easy to convert the canonical form of min term. If they have given the min terms, it is easy to write your SOP form. SOP form. Then come to here. Suppose if they have given. How you will write? 0 means. 0 means. Complemented. Both are 0. X is complement. Y is complement. Each term is plus term. That is logically multiplied. Is there 2 means. 2 means. 1 and 0. That is x is complement. So here both are uncomplement. Here x is complement. Y is uncomplement. Here 1 and 1 both are uncomplemented. X and y. This is your canonical form or max terms. Max terms. If they have given the POS. We can write the max term. If they have given the max term, we can write the POS. Product of sum. Product of sum. Okay. Shall we move for the three variables map? In the three variable map, 
A variable may be anything. Please remember, it is not only always x, y. It may be any kind of variable. Shall we take instead of x, y, z, a, b, c? It's your wish. Whatever the variable you want, you can take. So I have given for x, y. You try for a, b. And I am writing for x, y, z. You try for a, b, c. Same form. You will get one practice of this. And this three variable map, one of the important question in previous papers, exam paper. Okay. If it is x, y, z, how many inputs you will get? Three inputs you will get. Three inputs means how many input possibilities you will get? Eight input possibilities you will get. Eight input possibilities you will get. Four zeros. Four ones. Then in the y term, two zeros, two one. Two zeros, two one. First, we'll write the mean term. Two zeros, two one. Two zeros, two one. Zero one, zero one, zero one, zero one. We'll write the mean term. Min term with its notation. Max term with its notation. We'll try. This I need. I'll tell you why. Okay. Here. X is 1. X complement is 0. Here 0 is there. Then x is complement, y is complement, z is complement. Here 0, 0. x is complement, y is complement, z. Here x is complement, z is complement, y is uncomplement. Here x is complement, y, z. Here x, y complement, z complement. Here x, y complement, z. Here x, y, z complement. Here x, y, z. Each term is product term. Each term is product term. So, the notation, that is a representation, M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7. How you can write the max term? X is nothing but 0. X complement is nothing but 1. Here it is. X, Y, Z. Each term is some term. Each term is some term. There is a plus between each variable. Then X plus Y plus Z complement. Here X plus Y complement plus Z. Here it is 0, 1, 1. 0 means X. 1 means complement. Then here X complement, 1 means X complement, Y, Z. Both are 0, uncomplemented variable. Then here, X is complement, Y is uncomplement, Z is complement. Then here, X is complement, Y is complement, Z is uncomplement. Here, X is complement, Y is complement, Z is complement. Each variable has plus term. Then, how you can write this one? This is capital letter M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7. Then, this is a function F. That is a function F. Suppose, write the canonical form of Sigma 0, 5, 6, 7. What are all the things present? 0 is present. 5 is present. 6 is present. 7 is present. Rest all are 0. That means these terms are not present in the given expression. Which terms? M1 is not there, 2 is not there, 3 is not there, 4 is not there. These terms are not present in the given expression. 
Suppose if the same given in f of x, y, z with a pi with a pi 1, 3, 4, 7. What are the things present? 1 is present. Please notice over here I am writing 0. 3 is present. 4 is present. 7 is present. These are not present. Why? Why? Here 1 not is there. Hence ma'am was written 1. Here not was not there. Once we written 1. Here this is x plus x complement equal to 1. Output is 1 if the term present. Output is 0 if the term is present. Output is 0 if the term is present in max term. Output is 1 if the term is present in the mean term. This is very 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 important. You need to remember if present 1, if present 0. If it is not present then you need to write 1. Absent means 1. Present means 0. Then how I can take what are the things present? This is present. Plus. Which one is present? This is present. Write togetherly with a plus. Shall we write it down? That means x complement, y complement, z complement plus x, y complement, z plus x, y, z complement plus x, y, z for the given x, given SOP, this is your mean term. This is your mean term. Similarly, how you can write here, what are the things present? This one is present, this one is present, this one is present, this one is present. How we can write here? x plus y plus z bar plus x sorry into x plus y bar plus z bar into x complement plus y plus z into x complement plus y complement plus z complement. This is your max term for the variable present in the given POS. In the given POS. This is your three variable representation. In one of the question paper, just they, have, they will give this one. Write the SOP they will ask. Otherwise, they will give the SOP and they will tell you to write the min term form or canonical SOP form. If they will give the POS form or write, they will tell them to write the canonical max term form. Otherwise, give the three variables truth table for mean term. Only this much. This F if it is present. If it is given, then you need to write the function. Otherwise, you don't need to write. Your function is based on your problem. This much is for important for two mass question. Two mass question. Otherwise, this one is an important for two mass. Otherwise, they will give this one. They will tell you to write this one. Write down this one and write. How we can remember ma'am how I can write? See, 0, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0. Sorry. Here it is. 1, 0, 1. Here it is 110. 1117. Do you remember your 4 to 1 format? 4 plus 2 plus 1, 7. 4 plus 2, 6. 4 plus 1, 5. 0. Similarly, here 0 means present, 1 means absent. That's all. Okay, now we'll continue in the next class. Canonical form, problems on canonical form with mean term and max term. Mean term and max term. We will continue in the next class. Problems on mean term and max term. Thank you students.